What's up guys? You ready for another Tuesday tip? So today, I'm going to show you how to get data off your TSC-7 and take it to your computer. So, we have a USB transfer cable here. You can buy these at Best Buy or Amazon. I'll leave a link in the body of this uh, video so that you can order this thing. So, um, Ran into a little issue the other day trying to transfer data from TSC-7 over to a computer and we had a bunch of scans, we had a bunch of uh, sonomite data, we had um, lots of photographs, stuff like that. So it made it kind of difficult to transfer the data over via Wi-Fi using either Trimble Connect or uh, trying to use TeamViewer or something like that. So I pulled out the old handy dandy transfer cable. So I thought I'd show you guys how I've got this set up and how I'm making it work. So watch this real quick and um, I will get everything set up and ready to roll. Okay, so what'd you guys think about my new uh, intro video there? Pretty cool, huh? So, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook up this transfer cable. So, you'll notice that there's a big end and a little end. Don't get too concerned. I think actually what this big end is, my understanding is, that's probably where the software is at for this cable. So instead of having a CD or some driver of some kind, the driver's built in from my understanding. So. Um, I'm just going to plug in one end into the TSC-7 and I'm going to plug the other end into my laptop. Okay, so they're both plugged in. Now what I did was, um, I actually went in and if you will look, you'll see there's a CD drive, Easy Suite right there. So if you hold down on that, you can make a uh, shortcut and take that shortcut to the, um, oh, somewhere in here, I'm trying to think of where it's at, but somehow or another you make a shortcut. There it is, paste shortcut, okay. So anyways, you make a shortcut here, and then I've got this connected to my laptop. So if I go to my laptop and look, I'm going to see there's that easy suite there as well. So. Um, same thing, I am going to, um, somewhere in here, here it is, Easy Suite, um, do, 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 do. uh, pin to start and send to i can send to somewhere in here oh there it is It'd help if i had my glasses on this morning probably desktop shortcut so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a shortcut on the on the uh, tsc7 and we're gonna create a shortcut on the uh, on your computer as well so that it's easier to transfer data so um another thing i might bring up uh, for some of you guys that maybe you've been having problems trying to find the data on your data collector, if you go to uh, your C drive or this PC or whatever, you can go to view, you can go to options, go to view down there and where it says show hidden files and folders, make sure that the show hidden files and folders is turned on because it's not, you're not going to find your data. I don't know why, but the uh, program data where all your data is stored is a hidden file for some crazy ass reason, whatever. Anyways, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. So you can see the easy suite. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna say yes. So now I have half of it here. So now I'm gonna go to my computer. I'm gonna find my, and I probably should have done this before I started this video. Um, there's an easy sweet shortcut. Let's see if that's it. Yep, that's it. Uh, although it popped up on the wrong screen. Okay, so now what we have is um, using this cable, I've got access to both drives. I can copy and paste. So if I went to um, C drive, 
program data, that's the hidden file folder I was telling you about. You go to program data, you go to Trimble, and you go to Trimble data. Okay, so under Trimble data, um, mine's a little crazy because I've been bouncing back and forth between 2018 and 2017 so I can do videos for you guys. So uh, if I go to projects, I look under Robert's survey customers, you're going to see I've got a whole bunch of files. Now, when you're doing stuff with the SX10, or let's say you record static data or anything like that, just always remember that it builds what I refer to as a related file folder. So you get the job folder, and then you're going to get a related file folder to go with it. So anything that's stored like photographs or, like I said, static data, scan data, any of that stuff, it's going to, re um, it's going to create this... Um, related file folder. You see where it says bridge project job and it says bridge project files. Those two go together. So if you're doing scan data, you're trying to bring stuff into Trimble Business Center, be sure to copy those two files because the um, job file is going to handle all your control points and your projections and all that stuff. But that other folder is going to handle your scan data and your photographs and everything. So you want to copy both of those and paste. So let's just real quick, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to select that. So on my computer, if I wanted to stick it under, uh, let's say I was going to stick it underneath clays for some reason. So I can grab this and I can literally just drop and drag it right here. And as you can see, it's going to transfer those files from one to the other. Now, if you're trying to transfer Wi-Fi, you can imagine this is pretty slow, but transferring it this way, it's pretty quick. So, um, anyways, I hope this helped you guys. Um, like I said, I'll try to put a, uh, a link to this cable down in the body of the video. So you just have to click show more and then you should be able to find it. So uh, if you guys have any questions, hey, just holler at me. Um, I've talked to a few of you so far and um, I enjoy helping people. So that's the reason I do the videos, right? So hopefully more Tuesday tips to come. I've been staying pretty hooked up. You guys know how it works. Um, so um, anyways, be safe. God bless. Don't cut yourself with one of those damn machetes out there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you watching.